Here. I had a phone call one day from a dear friend, and she said, you know, don't know this gentleman. He has just retired as an airline pilot and has been diagnosed with stage four of esophageal cancer. She said, would you mind bringing him some water by on your way to work? He lives in your neighborhood. I called him, he was open to the idea, but he said, I just want you to know that I'm taking chemo um, at the hospital. It said that I was just interested in dropping off some water. If he was uh, agreeable to drink the water, uh, at least eight glasses a day. I gave him simple instructions and that I would bring him water every other day. So he continued to drink the water, basically had three chemo treatments. He was going down for his fourth chemo treatment. When he went into the doctor, they drew his blood. The doctor walked back into his ex office and he said, I want to sit down and tell you something. And he said, I have just seen the results of your blood, and you do not have a cancer cell in your body. He said, I have treated over thousands of people with esophageal fourth stage cancer, and none of them are living today. He said, you are the first person that I have told do you do not have a cancer cell in your body. So he asked him, what should I continue to do? He said, are you gonna give me chemo today? He said, why would I give you chemo if you didn't have a cancer cell in your body? So he came home, called me, and he said, what should I continue to do? I said, continue doing what you have done. But let me add, too, that I do encourage people to, drink, uh, to eat a healthy diet. I do believe that uh, you need to really think seriously about your food intake. And also, I encourage people to exercise. So I feel it's exercise, it's food intake, but, but most of all, it's hydrating your body with this wonderful water that is, uh, penetrates and hydrates at least 75% of your body. That, to me, is the most important feature of this Kangen water.